Boy Bersoas Combo Rival Se. So in the last video I said that I was going to make a video about my trip to the Falkland Islands well, when I got a job in the Falkland Islands um, but I started doing some planning and started trying to um, think about what I was going to talk about in this episode and I realised that the task is a little bit bigger um, than I first imagined because I've got so many videos I want to show as well so many like snippets from my, my time in the Falklands that it's going to require a little bit more time than I thought to make and this week I am leaving Brazil to go to London um, so yes I've got to pack my suitcases and I've got a lot of sort of travelling to do um, so I don't really have time to make such a big episode and spend so much time editing. Um, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to quickly talk about just some of the things that I'm going to miss about Brazil, you know, like when I go back to London and I wake up, some of the things that in the morning as I go through my daily routines that I'm going to be like, oh, I really miss this about Brazil. I wish I was in Brazil. We're going to do that today. Um, but yeah, I'm going back to London this week. It's going to be, it's going to be difficult for me because I'm, I'm enjoying my time here and I'm not ready to go back, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You can tell how disorganised I am. I've not even put the guitar in the background today. Um, so we've got to get the guitar in the background. See, I'm not even concentrating. I'm just not with it this week. Um, so this episode might be a bit, I don't know what the word is, thrown together, a bit loose. Okay, so let's talk about five things that I'm gonna miss when I leave Brazil. Firstly, the food. The food here has been like one of my favourite things about Brazil. Um, there's so many different types of foods. I've been here for four and a half months and I still don't feel like I've tried everything. Um, I love the simple things like arroz e feijoa. Um, I love the pizza here. The pizza is so different to anything I've had before, even though I stated that New York pizza was my favourite. Brazilian pizza might be leading the, uh, the way now. I think. Brazilian pizza is my new favourite pizza. Um, and also the fruits, there's so many different fresh fruits here. I love mango, so I'm going to miss having a fresh mango every morning. Um, not that I did that anyway, I mostly get bread in the morning, but having a fresh mango from the supermarket, just the possibilities of having it, you know, like we have them in England, but they're like this big and they're nowhere near as good as they are in Brazil and not as tasty. So I'm going to miss the food and the fruits of Brazil is going to be something that I miss a lot. Secondly, it's going to be the beers and cachaça. Of course I'm going to miss cachaça. The beers have been questionable in Brazil, but I stick by it and I do like my Antarctica, so I'm going to miss Antarctica with the little penguins on the front. I, I make caipirinha, so you know it's great going to the supermarket, buying a bottle of cachaça and making caipirinhas. Um, it is available in London, however, it is £20 for a bottle of cachaça in London. And I'm going to figure out the conversion rates and let you know how much a bottle of cachaça is in London in hay ice because it is super expensive. Third thing I'm going to miss, the weather, of course, the weather. Waking up every morning in Brazil and seeing bright blue skies. When I came, it was wet season, um, so there was quite a bit of rain and I was starting to think, is Brazil actually sunny? Um, but no, the weather did change eventually and it's been nice waking up every morning to blue skies. Um, you probably don't appreciate it, but when you live in a country where most of the time it's grey and it rains a lot, it's nice to have good weather. It definitely has an impact on the mood. Um, so yeah, weather is the third thing I'm going to miss. Fourth thing, the people. The people in Brazil are friendly. It's the simple things. Um, going to the shop and you know, leaving my apartment and just saying bom dia, bom, 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 bom dia, almost got that wrong, boa tarde, boa noite, simple things like that, you know, in England they don't really, they don't do eye contact, um, just not as friendly, so it's nice walking around here and seeing people with a bit more of a smile on their face, a bit more kind of a happy atmosphere. Um, which is ironic because, you know, there's so many problems in Brazil, but you guys remain positive. There's a lot more positivity amongst Brazilian people. Of course, that doesn't speak for everyone, but 
you know, in day-to-day -day life, you, you feel it, you feel it. And going back to England, I'm going to be dealing with the miserable people um, walking around the streets, aren't you? Again, they're not that miserable, but, you know, you have to go back to that awkward British humour, which I love so much. And the last thing is the scenery, the scenery, um, driving around and, you know, looking out the window, trying to find a toucan. I'm going to miss the, the noise of them chubbies when I wake up in the morning. I love that noise. It's very unique to Brazil and it probably gets on everyone's nerves, but it is, it is a bird that I've uh, become accustomed to and I recognise that sound from anywhere in Brazil. But it's not only the birds and the wildlife, it's just the simple things, you know, the, the fauna, the fauna. It's driving around and seeing these like huge green hills and all these different kind of plants and stuff and I'm going out on hikes and I'm seeing all this different nature that I haven't seen before. Yeah. It's, it's nice for me, it's different and it's something that I'm going to miss a lot. So that's five little things that I'm going to miss when I go back to England and it's sad because I'm enjoying my time in Brazil and I don't know what's next for me but we'll see. I'm thinking about starting up a campaign, it's called uh, Get Jake a Job in Brazil campaign. So for anyone that can find me a job, I'm going to list my experience. Okay, so firstly, um, my first job was supermarket. I worked in supermarkets stuck in shelves, so I can always do that. Um, I've worked on farms picking fruit and vegetable, I can always do that. And also I worked in the film and TV industry, so I have good experience with cameras. Um, I know how to make films, I know how to edit, um, so if there's anyone that can offer me a job in Brazil, <laughs> let me know, my contact details are below. Um, yeah, let's find, let's find Jake a job in Brazil, and let's get me back here soon, sooner rather than later. Um, I'm going to miss being in the same time zone as everyone um, that I've been communicating with. I'm going to continue to learn Portuguese. I still have my wonderful language teacher that I'm doing two lessons a week with. Um, so I'm going to keep keep learning Portuguese. Um, of course, I'm going to keep doing these videos as well, and I'm sure I will be back soon. So continue to watch my videos, and I am going to see you guys when I'm in London. So keep watching the videos, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, subscribe and like. See you guys soon.